Uh, thank, you, thank you very much, David, and hello, everyone. I'm going to uh, try very hard to be uncharacteristically brief, uh, but there are a few things I would very much uh, enjoy saying. But let me, first of all, uh, acknowledge the presence here of some very important people. Uh, the Federal Member for Macquarie, of course, uh, the um, uh, State Member for Blue Mountains, Rosa Sage. Life is full of little twists and turns that, that, that you never quite work out how. In 2007, when I ran after having foolishly given up my commissioner's job, and I'll rue that day to my death, I can tell you, um, Michael Pard was the Liberal opponent, and Michael and I hit it off pretty uh, well, fairly quickly. And at one stage, I, I really upset my campaign team by walking across the road in Springwood and handing out for Michael instead of myself. <laughs> uh, so there was an underlying wish to lose the election, but leaving that aside, Michael Park is now my accountant, um, and and Louisa's. I'm um, sorry, Rosa Sage, of course, runs a very uh, in in the little time that she doesn't have now, uh, and a dental practice in uh, in Springwood. And Rosa, you're now my dentist. And when I when I walked in when I worked in, walked in the first time after having suffered a little catastrophe with a broken tooth. Uh, Rosa's um, uh, practitioners were remarkably friendly and charming. And she said to me, the practitioner that is, said, well, given the fact that you were on the other side, even though you're not now, that does give us the right to hurt and maim you. <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine how I felt. But, but they were joking, and they, they did a splendid job. Could I also acknowledge the, the uh, local councillors here and the general manager, Rob Greenwood, and of course, uh, Shanford Simmons, the commissioner of the, uh, of the Rural Fire Service, and Sage Shane that um, uh, congratulations to you and your team on a remarkable outcome of this station and I extend my congratulations of course. To all the brigade members who worked so long and tirelessly and generously to make this uh, come to fruition. It, it is, it's a credit to you uh, and it's not before bloody time I might add. Uh, <laughs> But they say that all good things are worth waiting for, and yes, it's been a long wait, and yes, it is good. So enjoy it. it it'll serve you well in the, the many, many years to come. Before I, before I conclude, I just want to repeat a bit of history. When I was appointed on the 14th of September, 1970, as the district manager here, FCO is the demo's name. I knew I, I was the youngest fire control officer appoint, ever appointed in New South Wales. And I, I think I was 25 or somewhere around that time. And I knew that I would have many challenges, but I wasn't to know that my biggest challenge would come from the Valley Heights Brigade <laughs> uh, in the form of Jack Bailey. <laughs> The, the late Jack Bailey, uh, along with the late Frank Martin, who was captain of the Wimbley Bush Fire Brigade, as it was then, were two men that, that played a significant, influential role in my life. Jack Bailey, because he just refused to do his, as he was told, and Frank Martin, who used to coach me on getting Jack Bailey to tell to do as he, as he was told. Um, but it occurred that. Um, Jack invited me down to see the repaint job on their 1942 Chevy Blitz. And to my shock and horror, it was painted pillar box red instead of brambles red, which was the, the prevailing colour at the time. And I said to Jack, Jack, why are you doing this to me? Just testing, said Jack. Uh, I said, you're going to have to repaint it. He said, no. And I said, you can't, it, 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 it sticks out, it, it's too, you know, you can't do this. We're not going to have you with a pillar box red fire engine and everyone else having a brambles red fire engine. He said, no. Now that battle went on for years and years and years. And Jack would parade that pillar box red tanker everywhere at every opportunity he had. And then finally there came a sticking point. Uh, when I had... Finally, I had something on Jack. It took years. And I said to Jack, uh, Jack, this is sort of awkward and a bit sensitive, but 
but you are in fact now going to change the colour of your truck. And he said, what if I don't? So I told him, he said, it'll be done by Monday. <laughs> and that was Jack. Jack was a, and, and those who succeeded him and who preceded him uh, made Valley Heights a great regard. And there are so many characters that I see here again today who have contributed so mightily uh, to the advancement of this brigade and brigades in the, in the Blue Mountain generally uh, who are the finest of the fine. Uh, and for me it's a privilege uh, to be here today at the culmination of all those efforts over so many, many years. Um, and uh, a lot of hard won fights, as many of you will remember. Uh, a lot of feisty meetings held at the old fire station, the old shed, uh, which I remember vividly. But good has prevailed, just as has prevailed. We've got a great new station, uh, and I congratulate everyone on it. I'm so pleased to have an ongoing role in emergency management. I chair the State Emergency Management Committee and represent, um, um, represent uh, New South Wales on the national body. But the thing that I take most pride in now is I've just been appointed as Executive Director of the Australasian Assembly of Volunteer Fire Brigade Associations. And that's all about representing volunteers. <laughs> It's all about representing volunteers at the national level to make sure that the federal government understands the importance of the volunteer contribution and don't start doing silly things like occasionally they're tempted to do, particularly at the moment, about which I'll talk to you, Louis Marcus, in, in the fullness of time. You're, you're aware of them, you're aware of them. Uh, and, and Shane battles with these things every day of his life. Uh, and uh, it's my job to try and make sure that the federal government understands the absolute critical importance of volunteer firefighters throughout the country. Congratulations all, Shane. Uh, congratulations on the job you're doing with the RFS. Uh, you, you really do me proud. You really do. And I have no uh, compunction in saying that whatsoever. It's an extraordinarily difficult job, and you do it with style, uh, panache, and you're losing your hair, which is an indication, as you can see, from, of the fact that you're doing it pretty well. So, congratulations, and congratulations.